Friends, imagine you return home in the evening and find the home in a state of disarray. Your bathroom towels lying on the sofa, kitchen tap leaking, no food in the fridge, no groceries either, and so on. How would you feel? Irritated, upset, or maybe even a bit angry? Because to do any work or even to rest, we need a home to be functional and well kept. And who does this work? From the beginning of human civilization, this very important work of keeping a home has been assigned to women. In Sanskrit, the word for homemaker is Grihini, a woman who maintains and makes the home, the griha, the home where not just charity, everything begins, art, literature, scientific inventions, business, ideas, everything starts from home because that is where we are nurtured to stand up as responsible humans and to contribute to society. I think this role you know, of a, this home maker has been assigned to women by nature herself. When nature chose the woman and not the man to bear life, when she decided that a woman would home the embryo and grow the embryo within her own body. And to enable her to do this task well, nature bestowed on her generously important qualities like patience, endurance, strength to bear discomfort and pain quietly, a readiness to sacrifice her own interests for a higher purpose, and above all, a huge capacity to love, to care, and to nurture all forms of life. And all these qualities go to make her an ideal homemaker. For homemaking, as we all know, is not an easy job. It's almost like running a small company. You have to fix budgets, plan at least three meals a day and special meals for special days. You have to keep taking stock of the inventory and replenishing it whenever necessary. And above all, you have to ensure that the people at home are feeling comfortable, happy, cherished, loved, because the home is one place where we expect unconditional love and acceptance. And this is what the homemaker extends to all. I remember in my growing up years, how my mother would fuss over any person in the family if the person was upset and would not rest till total harmony had been re-established. And she did not have to go to any management schools to acquire these managerial skills. For centuries, women have been managing big households with ease because nature has given them natural managerial skills and high emotional intelligence. All this is not to say that a woman cannot and should not do anything apart from running a home. No. She is Shakti. She has enormous power. She can be anything she chooses to be. And history has shown us that when needed, a woman can take over the reins of a kingdom like Ahilyabai Holkar of Indo did in the mid 18th century, or even take up arms like Rani Lakshmibai did. And today, a woman can be an actor, teacher, software engineer, corporate manager, musician, even a pilot, but whatever career she chooses, careers which require her to be away from home for considerable periods of time, she always remains concerned about things back at home and is careful to put in place systems so that the home runs smoothly even in her absence. In my last job uh, with a corporate, I saw how young mothers would keep calling back home to find out how their little ones or some ailing member in the family was doing. Because to nurture life, 
is the driving force of every woman. She can develop other identities. Everyone can have multiple identities. So she can take on the identity of a teacher, a doctor, an actor, but she never sheds her identity as a homemaker. Is there any woman who does not want a home and who does not want to keep it beautiful, warm, inviting, of which she can be proud? A good education enables us to be good homemakers. For homemaking requires clarity of thinking, organizing capacity, a few basic skills, knowledge of many areas like nutrition, health, and an ability to update oneself on things. So on this Women's Day, I would like to celebrate our role as homemakers. Let's carry on our dharma of creating, maintaining, or contributing to maintain joyful homes with the full awareness that by so doing, we are sustaining the very fabric of society and the foundations of all human happiness and progress. Let's be proud homemakers. Namaste.